Any tips for anarchists on dust signs? Okay, I can uh, place some dust signs for you. I'll uh, I'll give you a good rotational educational. Yeah, and I can give you like a basic starter build what to go up with. All right, so anarchist is pretty simple. First and foremost, I'm gonna tell you where I think it is. So anarchist is a really good deck. Um, where's the perks? So, Anarchist fits about here on my list. Some people may agree, some people may disagree, some people say armor's better. Hell, even some people might say crew chief's better. Anarchist is a special breed of deck because it is one of the highest skill ceiling decks to learn in the game. So the more you play it, the more you learn, the more you do better with it, the better the deck is. Others could be like, maybe Sicario, maybe Crook, um, a bit with Kingpin. More of the armor-based decks, like Socio, Infiltrator, I'll even Biker. To some extent, they all have their certain limit of skill ceiling. Anarchist is definitely probably top three for that kind of thing. So, why is Anarchist up there for that reason? There's something that is so f powerful. It is when your armor's depleted. You are immune for any damage, even snipers, for two seconds. But if the, uh, uh, just remember, snipers are your biggest problem with Anarchist. I'll get to that in a sec. Because if you have HP and a bit of armor, snipers will cut through that HP and armor. Every other unit is fair game, as armor gating in this game only takes your armor. If you have no armor, then it takes your health. So the benefit of Anarchist is that the armor constantly regenerates based on your armor equipment. So suit is best, ICTV is worst. In terms of new beginners and all that sort of gameplay, uh, suit, just pick suit. You have more concealment, you have 5% dodge, which does happen quite a bit. As well as it has 2 seconds of recharge. So, Anarchist, what does it do? Converts your health, converts your health, converts your health. To armor. So basically... It's not an armor deck, but it's an armor gating deck. So how does it gate? When you deal damage, you get 10 armor. This happens every 1.5 seconds, right? Pretty simple stuff. You do damage, you get armor back, it saves your butt. That's it. It's super f simple. Um, DSLD build critique, I can get to that in a bit. If you list me the weapons or I can refund your points, let me know. Anyways, combining this, you can do this with Bullseye. I don't have Bullseye enabled for this build, but if you do a Bullseye every 2 seconds, you do damage every 1.5 seconds, and you have Suit Recharge every 2 seconds, you have 3 available ways to armor gate. So you can effectively stay invincible if you are a god with your timers. That's the whole premise of Anarchist. A simple deck to learn this is one without Zerk, believe it or not. Jokers, Inspire, Body Expertise, Crits, and a bit of AP Pistol, and it's super easy to go. Lions Roar with 5-7, well, <laughs> guess what I picked here. I'll get that going for you. So, the neat thing is about Jokers. Remember how I said your HP gets converted into armor? If you look on the left, it's 115. Armor is 158. The standard health pool for... All the decks in the game is 230, except for like shit like Kingpin, Leech, Muscle, Gambler, Grinder, Ex-President, Crew Chief, that kind of thing. So at 230, it's 115. The breakpoint to realize in this game, the most important is 225. That's the damage. It's the most common unit. It's 225. 225 damage is more than 115. So would it make sense to have like first aid kits on this build not really unless you get some crazy damage reductions and some help of crew chief that kind of thing wouldn't worry about it which is why a lot of decks with anarchists tend to go the berserker route so with a molotov or some certain fancy gl setups with a grenade launcher you can get lower health and you let the armor keep you alive plus the two seconds of invulnerability that's why you see a lot of decks with berserker but for beginners, honestly, your main concern is killing them before they kill you. That's the biggest premise for Anarchist. 
If you're getting shot, you're getting shot. You gotta shoot the sucker back. That's it. Alright. So. Back to the Joker part. I, I don't know if you can read over an app shirt, but having a converted enemy increases your health by 30%. So, what does that mean? 30% of 230 is, believe it or not, 69 health. Right? So 69 health on top of your 115 turns out to be 184. If my math serves me correctly. So, if you go back to the Anarchist previous... 184 health converts into 120% armor. That 158 turns into a 241. Ding. Remember that number 225 I mentioned earlier? That's that breakpoint. It meets that criteria. So you don't blow your two second god mode every time you get shot. That's why 99, well, majority of cheap anarchist builds use a joker because this is literally all what you need to stay alive. This is your armor. <laughs> it's really good. If your joker dies, you can have a second joker. Other anarchist builds sometimes take Iron Man with a bit of frenzy. But that's for more experience, say, people that are more comfortable with the deck. A different way to suffice that 225 breakpoint for your armor. However, for beginners and myself personally, I like the joker out because it's just quick and you're done. Super simple. You can get your Berserker, grab a Joker, life is good. Or in this, easy... What I recommended back in the day was like LMG Anarchist with the Krenkov SMG, but with Lion's War update and damage range fall off, just take OP weapons and just have fun. So, in this example, we got two Jokers. That's your health, that's your armor, body expertise. This is just easy for rifles. You got all the crits for your rifles. You got AP pistol just to take your shields and all this other shit. And of course, flashbangs, because we don't have to worry about Berserker, because a lot of Anarchist-based builds also take Molotov or Berserker stuff. That's again, once you get really comfortable. And like I said, if you have 184 health, and you take a sniper hit, and if you have a bit of armor, it keeps you alive. So, this is why, this is like a really easy beginner Anarchist setup that you can go. So, that's pretty much the gist of the laydown for Anarchist on the top and my game just kind of crashed anyways let me um put this back onto the big screen and i'll show you the ins and outs of what to do for anarchist what about iron man and light ballistic fast farmer the thing about lbv is it's three seconds and personally i'd stick with the suit because again you even get five percent dodge <laughs> despite me memeing on it it's it helps believe it or not also the thing with Lightweight Ballistics is 3 seconds compared to 2 seconds regen with suit. Not saying it's not viable, but suit has saved me so much more when I miss my shot, get flanked, or get hit by something stupid 150 meters away that somebody else took aggro for. So, how to play the Anarchist perk deck. Am I putting this on YouTube? I don't know. Do I want to? Oh my god. Getting a Joker might be tough, but as you saw there on the bottom, the invincibility tied up. But if you grab a Joker, you can see that my armor and health has changed from 115 to 184. That's why I like Void UI, because it gives all these, um, all these nice little numbers to work with. So now you can see I meet the 241 and 184. So that's why Jokers are so good with Anarchist and almost every other deck in the game. So if you see a heavy and you get shot twice, there's your invulnerability. The neat thing there is once your armor breaks with the two second invulnerability, you can always take another hit with suit. So it's a good little muscle memory that you can get for a third hit per se. Anyways, that's more advanced stuff, but the core premise is the more shooting, the more killing you do, the more armor you got, and of course, jokers to take aggro for you to do peeking and in and out of cover. Anarchist to me is a really simple deck because I'm such an aggressive player, and that's what Anarchist kind of suits towards. Huh, isn't it a funny chat? Yeah, just Sicario? No, I, I don't play a lot of Sicario because I just don't care. So my joker's gonna stay over there, and apparently he's shooting the cloaker. That's fucking hilarious. 
But yeah, with an easy crit base build, not gonna be that difficult. And then with a double joker setup, you can just have two on the ready, so if the one dies, then you have your second one ready to go. Also, another neat thing with Anarchist too is like if you get shot, you can shoot your own joker and generate armor that way. So, I can find something to take a bullet. So, per se, it's like, oh, I'm in cover now. See, my armor's broken. It's like, okay, I want to generate some armor. You can just shoot your joker a little bit. And there you go. Makes it really handy just to kind of camp out. So the more killing you do with Anarchist, the easier it is. Well, that's, you could say that for every perk deck. But again, you need to deal damage to get your armor back because you're most likely to get shot quite a bit. And with an easy build like this, it's you can just mow the lawn have a beer on your left hand and keep driving with your right. And if you get, you know, swarmed or s chased a little bit, you can hang back a little bit, farm some armor. That's it. Pretty simple. If you have HUD mods, you can definitely see when your two seconds is up and down. And you could play accordingly that way. However, it comes back to the core premise of Pedo too, just don't overpeak too much. Check your flank if your teammates are shooting. Double check again. Overpeak that corner. Too many enemies. So pretty simple how to play anarchist. That's all it is. And with this build, this is just a simple lion's or double joker, unseen crit. No bullseye, because you don't need bullseye with anarchists. There's two other ways to armor gate. And see, with an HP based setup, light shields or even snipers, you can potentially tank. Because I was a light unit. Light units do 67.5, not 225. Ooh, over pick that. There we go. Super easy setup. What do we got here? Classic standard slaughterhouse. It's perfect. Yeah, anarchist. It will take time. It will take practice. But if you got like a lion's or an AP pistol, you will do fine. Uh, prepare a trap. So the first thing on my mind with anarchists is always prioritize a joker. Get him back. There you go. That's it. You have won the video game. You have one anarchist. That's it. Double check for snipers. Prepare a trap. They got gas. So they're good. Oh, I kind of killed it on. Oops. That's not good. Hmm. I better come down. Why am I shooting up here? Yeah, 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 we're coming. Wasn't there, like, dudes up here? I don't know. I want to get in position for that captain. He left. And that's why AP pistol is so good. We can get this guy for a trade. And you know what's better than your teammates? Two jokers. Your two jokers will keep you alive. They will take aggro. But they may not revive you. That's the only problem. But yeah, Anarchist uh, will take a bit. You will get it. Just, you... Just practice. That's it. Uh, uh. 
Easy clicking, easy looking. Already 80 kills. Hugger. With the medic on. Now, light is trolling me. Actually, I want your bullets. Ah, I'm stuck. Two seconds definitely save me there. That's another thing too, shooting your jokers to and from cover can also save you. Just save me there. Ow. That's the only problem with this build, is it doesn't have flashbang resistance. So I tossed a flashbang and it saved me a little bit. Teammates probably helped too. Two minigun dozers. Easy melting, easy pelting. Also with the flash. Out of ammo, switch to this, and there you go. A very easy setup, Anarchist build. And it works super good. Two jokers, almost top kills when I joined, but... Yeah, it's... There you go.